Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here, welcome to the channel. So today I'll be reviewing and demoing the Color Key Mobile Hex 5 Mini Par Uplight. So my friends at Color Key asked me to review this mini par. And so when I first got this, I noticed that it has a lot of striking resemblance to the both lighting IR4 mini par, but it also has a lot of key differences, which I want to get into today. And I'll have a link in the description below where you can buy this, but you can pretty much buy these Color Key mini pars from all of your favorite retailers. But I have a pretty cool coupon code through Hollywood DJ, so I'll have a link in the description below. When you buy a set of these lights, you can either get them in an eight pack in a flight case with rolly wheels and telescoping handle or you can get it in one of these soft shell cases with these convenient dividers and so I got the four pack it's so when you get a four pack like this you get it shipped in this lovely box and within the case you'll get this instruction sheet with a QR code that links you to the documentation as well as the mobile app you get a charger for each of your lights and you get four of these really cool RF remotes. you have this really cool color wheel remote and batteries are included and it has an app that you can connect to it as well that does some similar functionality this light is very lightweight it's only two pounds, 2.9 with the included bracket. It has five 12 watt diodes and each one is red, blue, green, amber, white, and UV. So it's a hex. The beam angle is 25 degrees, the field angle of 45 degrees. So it's a very wide spread. The battery life specs seem to be in different spots. The box here says up to 12 hours of use from a single charge. And their website says nine hours on a single color on a single charge. And to be honest, nine or 12 hours, I think that is long enough for most <laughs> mobile DJ applications. Unless it's those German weddings you're telling me that apparently last for 12 hours and obviously the shape is round it's a circle it's 7 inches by 7.8 inches and 2.5 inches deep so yeah it's made of aluminum the whole body is like this opaque black metal and then it's got this shiny glassy top and then these are those five diodes on the body here you have this barcode on the back and then on the front you have an on button as well as somewhere to plug in the charging port on the back, you have these four, well, I guess it's three rubber feet. You can set this on top of a surface and you have this color key branding. And then we have a very familiar looking four button LCD panel. Shows, it has a battery life indicator right here. It shows you like which channel of DMX it currently is on, which is the red channel. And then it has this bracket right here that splits in the two. This is like very sturdy, this is very solid. I'm actually pretty impressed with this bracket. And you can use this bracket to put it on a table like this so that you can have all sorts of angles when using this as a wash light or as an uplight. And of course, you can attach this to your favorite mounting hardware like a T-bar or something and have it shining down. And there's quite a bit of clearance between here and here so you can use a lot of cool hardware. I almost forgot to mention this comes with magnetic mounts. So yeah, you unscrew that and then so you can attach this to the ceiling and these magnets are really strong and it can support the three pounds of weight that this light has pretty easily. And this menu will look familiar if you've ever played with the IR4. This is like the DMX address and you know, I actually have one of my IR4s right there shining on me and I have this on DMX address one. And see how that Wi-Fi symbol is blinking red because this one is transmitting a signal of pure white and it's catching it so yeah this is completely interchangeable with the ir4 but for real this is messing up with my demo and so you can have 10 channel mode or six channel mode in dmx but it has 48 color presets it has a color jump preset you can choose the speed it has two fade presets sound active mode and then you can use the app i'm not going to demo that today but you can't do chases. You can only control like one at a time. RF mode is where you can control this with the remote. And it has to say slave right there for it to connect. I'll show that in just a second. Yeah, this one is not connecting because it is on DMX mode. So I have to change this if I want it to connect. So RF, slave, here we go. So now I can control both of them. 
And so I see this, I don't know if it is RF, so I'd expect like a silver antenna. I'm not pointing at it directly and it seems to be working. These buttons were a little bit confusing. I wasn't quite sure why there's like several shades on them, but it's just yeah, red, green, blue, amber, or white rather. That's white, that's yellow in there. Amber, UV. You can use this color wheel, which I find quite fascinating. I like that. You can have it go in auto mode. You can choose which auto mode with these up and down, your sound active modes, brightness, off, on, strobe, strobe speed. So you can do a lot with this remote. You can choose a manual value here and you can choose like the color of DMX and it's super convenient because it shows you which color it is. Or you can just turn off DMX altogether and you can also turn off the remote's control access if you don't want it. All right, what are my thoughts on Color Keys Mobile Par Hex 5? So I definitely think that mini pars are a step in the right direction. I think that they're gonna get more and more popular within the industry. Back in the old and olden days, you had to like hardwire all of your lights and like daisy chain the power and the DMX signal and that sucked. And then just having anything battery powered, no matter how heavy and massive the lights were, that was a huge improvement in efficiency and convenience. It took up a ton of room in your car and they were heavy. Some of these cases of uplights weigh over 100 pounds and that is anything but convenient. The convenience that mini pars offer without sacrificing too much of the functionality, I think that these are definitely here to stay. Yeah, I think that this is a solid mini par entry into color keys lineup. The similarities between this light and both lightings IR4 cannot be ignored. It has all of the same functionality like the long battery life, small form factor, easy to use interface, and magnetic mounts. Those are pretty cool. But it like quite literally has one upped it with like one extra diode a better bracket and a round shape which i don't know i'm kind of indifferent to a square shape or a round shape but it is different i do think the remote is cooler especially since you don't need line of sight so while the improvements are noticeable i don't know if it's going to be a market disruptor i don't think that people are going to sell all of their ir4s to replace them with these and i think that's okay I think these are still an enticing entry into the market of people looking to get into mini pars. And while it also has all my favorite things from the IR4, it also has some of the things that I dislike about the IR4, namely like the beam angle is just too darn wide. Like in tall buildings, like the beam kind of just only goes about halfway up the wall before it kind of just disappears. There are mini pars on the market where the beam is a little bit more focused and it reaches all the way to the top. I can't say the name of the company because they got mad at me. And so I would have liked to see that. And I do think that the color mixing between white and amber, like that candle white antique white look is a little bit better maybe, but I still feel like the color mixing is still not as good as maybe some of their older up lights. Like the, I think the Hex 4 they're called. And I know some lights out there also have like little filters so that you can like widen it. It'd be cool to have like a magnetic snap on filter that you could like remove so it'd be more narrow and then you put that on and then it disperses. So what are your thoughts on this color key mini par? Let me know down in the comments below and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.